Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel today. We are in the kitchen as you can see, but we are not making something to eat. So as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title of this video, we are going to make a recipe, but it is for DIY toilet cleaning bombs. So they look like this, okay? They're really easy to make. It only takes four ingredients. It does take a little bit of time, but you'll see why, but it is totally worth it. So I'm hopeful that this will help you if you don't are not a big fan of chemicals to clean with, if you prefer an all natural method, this is for you. Also, this is a huge money saver because this costs literally pennies to make. So grab a bowl, grab a whisk, grab a measuring cup and some measuring spoons and an eyedropper and meet me right back here and we'll get these made. Okay, this is basically what you're gonna need, this plus a bowl and a whisk. You need baking soda. I get this from Sam's. I know they also sell it in bulk like this at Costco. I wanna say it's like $8. It used to be $7 for a 15 pound bag. I use it for the laundry. I use it for these. I use it for a lot of things. Scour scouring my kitchen sink out really well. It's very useful. That's why I buy it in bulk. Then you're gonna need some citric acid. This you can buy at Walmart, Target, I'm pretty sure Amazon has it, I think Kroger. You're gonna find it in the aisle where the canning supplies are. So like mason jars, rings, that sort of a thing. The Sure Gel, this is with the canning supplies. It's called citric acid and it looks like this. And I will try to find a link, like an Amazon link or something to link in the description below. You're also gonna need some white, just plain old white distilled vinegar. I get this at Sam's in the two gallons per box. And it used to be like $4 or something. I want to say it's up to $5 now. So with inflation like it is, prices like they are, I'm trying to clean how I can clean with as little expensive chemicals as possible. Then you're going to need some measuring spoons, some essential oils. If you choose to use them, you don't have to. It's not a necessary ingredient. So you've got these three and this. Those are your ingredients. It can be whatever you want. It could be citrus. It could be thieves if you like thieves. I personally do not like the smell of thieves. It makes me sick to my stomach, so I try to avoid it. But if you like it and you use it all the time, absolutely put some thieves in here. You're going to use measuring spoons, a measuring cup, and some sort of like ice cube trays, silicone molds. You can use any shape, size you want. This is the one that I have used before. Um, you can use regular ice cube trays, however you want. I find the silicone is easier to pop them out than this old fashioned kind, but this is what you have. You can use that too. So let's grab a bowl and a whisk and let me show you how to put it together. Okay, so in this bowl, I've got two cups. I already measured out two cups of baking soda and you need a whisk and I try to like break up the little clumps as best I can. You're going to whisk it a lot, but go ahead and get some of these broken up. Then the citric acid to this baking soda, you're gonna add citric acid and you need one half of a cup. There we go. Half a cup of citric acid. Don't breathe in when you pour that in there. Oh, excuse me. Mix that all together. And if you hear any sniffling, coughing, etc., please excuse us. We are all for getting over like sinus stuff, sinus congestion, because the weather can't decide what it wants to do. Okay, this is gonna be my container to put them in once they are dry. I don't need this anymore. Now that you have your baking soda and your citric acid combined. You're gonna add one to two tablespoons, depending of this the distilled white vinegar. I measured it out into here. You need to, if you have an eyedropper, that's gonna be the best thing. I do not have an eyedropper. Or if you have like a little tiny spray bottle, like you can get like glasses cleaner in the little bitty spray bottles you can put in your purse, that thing would be good. But you have to add this very, very, very slowly. It's gonna take a while. It is a little time consuming, but it is important that you do it slowly. Because what happens if you pour vinegar in baking soda? Okay, keep it's just going to bubble up, right? And then it's going to be of none effect and it's not going to fizz in the toilet. So I'm just going to have to do a couple of drops at a time. Like this. And then you whisk it all together. And you're going to keep doing this.
until it's all in there and it's completely like it's wet enough that you can like mold it into like a clump in your hand like a snowball and I will show you what that looks like so I'm not gonna make you watch me sit here and do this drop by drop so we're gonna get this incorporated and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's all in there all right so now we've got it where it's kind of damp but it feels like snow and it looks like snow it's like you could play in it like it's snow and it when you squeeze it together in your hand it will clump like snow that's what you want so now you need to get your um, essential oils this is when you put those in you can do it says 35 drops so the example it gives is like 20 of thieves and like 15 citrus or something like that this is a lavender and Bergamo, is that how you say that? I'm just gonna use this because I like the way it smells. Um, and I don't necessarily count the drops per se. I just put them in there. So if you don't want it heavily scented, don't put a lot. If you really, really like the scent, then I guess add some more. Customize it to your liking. Get that all incorporated in there really well. Then you're gonna pack them into these molds. And then once you get them packed into the molds, they need to sit and dry out for a minimum of an hour. Okay, so you're gonna fill these up. And pack them in. You can also use the bigger ones that's like the big squares and then you would just need to use one of those in your toilet. If you're using these smaller ones, I would say you need to use like two, if not three, depending on like how dirty your toilet is. Um, it's also nice just if you know you have company coming over and you just kind of want to freshen it up really quick, just to drop one in there, let it dissolve and just flush it really fast and then the bathroom will smell nice and the toilet will be clean. Um, so you just, Make sure it's all packed in there really well. Like that. And that one could have more. Okay, so it's like this. And then you just set them aside somewhere and just let them sit like that for at least an hour, if not more, depending on um, you know how long it takes them to dry out, how much vinegar you had to use, how much oil you put in them. And then you just, once they're dry, you just carefully pop them out and put them in some sort of an airtight container until you're ready to use them. Just to keep the oils fresh, keep them smelling nice. And they should last for a really long time, but I go through them faster than I could tell you how long they really last. With three bathrooms in here and two kids, I'm always cleaning the toilet somewhere which is why I do this because it saves money. Because has anybody priced toilet cleaners lately? They're ridiculous. A little bit left so I'm gonna put those in here okay and I'm gonna wash my hands and clean up this mess and then in an hour put them in there okay I can't fit this tripod in my bathroom to show you in the actual toilet itself. It's just too, it's too much of a tight space in there. So you're not, I can't get a good shot of the actual toilet itself. So we're gonna pretend like this is the toilet bowl. I've got a little bit of water in here. It is cold water because that's what's in the toilet. Um, and so you can see what happens when you drop one of these into water. So you're gonna drop, when you go to use, the, use these in the toilet, like I said, you're probably gonna need um, two of these. 
for the one toilet, right? So you just throw them into the toilet bowl and they start to fizz and then you leave them and I let them dissolve while I'm cleaning sink, shower, you know, flooring, all of that kind of stuff. And then I come back and at the end of five minutes, these have dissolved and then you take your toilet brush and you scrub the toilet and then either you flush it then or if you like the way it smells and it's making the bathroom smell nice or you just want to leave it in there for the antibacterial, you know, or to clean if it, the toilet's really bad, then leave it for up to 30 minutes after you have scrubbed it and leave it 30 minutes and then flush it. It's as easy as that. There's no more of this gel up under the rim that costs $10 and you just flush $10 down your toilet. This is easy as it is. See? They just fizz and they dissolve. But it takes about five minutes or so. So if you're going to use this size, use a minimum of two, if not three. If you're going to use those bigger square, then just use one. So it's up to you. It's whatever you have on hand, whatever you want to buy. Okay, there you have it guys. They're up there above the toilet where they need to be. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope this um, is a way that you can maybe save some extra pennies on the cleaning solutions for your toilet, maybe an all more all natural solution for that. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. We love you all. Bye.